Hello everybody, today we are going to be testing the resistance of this material. It's called Task 12. It's a tooling resin and it's quite possibly the toughest resin that's available to buy. Um, this is what was supposed to come out of it. <laughs> it's a slingshot. Uh, unfortunately this one went completely wrong when I tried to uh, cure it in the oven. So. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, I can't show you that one, but I can show you this one, which is made of the same material, still the Task 12, it's just a different colour. Now I know that this stuff is extremely tough, so I'm just going to go right ahead and beat, the, beat it to death with this gigantic hammer. Don't know how much it weighs, but as you can see... It's big. I'm just going to put this down just to help not scratch it and let's commence. Okay, let's have a look and see what we've done. Uh, absolutely nothing on the sides, that's just from the, from the cup, sorry. Uh, nothing on the sides whatsoever from the compression. The bottom here is just like scratched from the paper, I guess. And the top, which was perfectly shiny before, has just lost a bit of its luster. When I move my fingers across it, there's really nothing to feel. Just the tiniest amount of resistance. Let's beat it some more. Okay. Mm. These marks that you can see are more like rust that have been left on it by the hammer. Obviously the paper has just been pounded into it. Sides have no compression damage from the idea is that it's a semi-rigid <coughs> material, so whilst I can't really bend this myself, maybe a tiny amount, what it's doing is it'll keep its shape when you're trying to shoot it with it, but it flexes ever so slightly to absorb the impact. Let's go at it one more time. Absolutely nothing. Like these aren't even dense. I think they're just bits of rust just kind of pounded into the material. It looks like we've got a direct hit. So what we're shooting with. Loads and loads of elastic. Thick as you want. Let's go see. Uh, it was on this side. Maybe this? I can't see anything to be honest. Let's keep going. Direct hit. Again, this guy. Big tick bands. I left it this side up. Absolutely nothing. See, there's just the tissue pieces from earlier. 
guess we should keep going. Okay, looks like another direct hit to me. Again on this side. There's just nothing to see. Absolutely nothing. Let's go back to the hammer. Okay, so it's this guy again. Technically speaking, its structural integrity should have been compromised by three direct hits. Let's see if we can see something inside it. I mean, all I can see the naked eye is just these scratches. There's nothing inside this transparent resin to suggest any kind of fracture, cracks. So let's see if we can make some. Let's try nose down. Right, nose down's got some rust. It's because the Hammer is kind of rusty. Again, looking at it in the light, no cracks inside. I'll try kind of sideways on to see if we can do any damage like that. Okay, I broke the brick, that's useful. Okay. We're getting some slight scratches, I guess. Scratches, yeah. Anything to compromise the integrity of this material? I don't know what you can see through the phone, but my eye you can see that there are no cracks on the inside. Come on, we need to break this stuff. Let's get some, a new bit of cardboard. Some scratches, very not even a millimeter deep, very shallow. So you can see that I've been hitting it hard because uh, <laughs> the ground's been destroyed. <laughs> However, this has not. Let's just agree that this is one tough resin. Oh, it's even warm from the bashing. Okay, on closer inspection we can see that the ball did in fact hit the side causing a little chip. Uh, really no big deal, it gonna hit the sharp side if it was rounded like this side is, or the slingshot would be, it would probably just bounce straight off. I'm still classing this stuff as reasonably indestructible.